Boom, peace, intro, what's up guys? Well, Saturday, get that drawing done for the NO64R. Really sweet casting, she's a beauty. And uh, like I said, I think they all just come taped up. Because every one of them I've gotten now so far is taped up, so I don't think anybody's tampering with it. I think that's just the way they come. Um, so anyway. We'll get that drone taken care of. And I got some other things to show you that came in. And my eye started itching. Got my super cool shirt on. No, it ain't that one. It's a cool one though. Check it out. Pretty sweet, huh? Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm not sure. I like it. That's that purple gasser I want to get. I think it's from the Franklin Mint or something like that. Man, it's expensive, man. So I'm hoping I can get it a little cheaper around Christmas I don't know I guess we'll see it's like 200 something dollars it's outrageous got my uh, human top move sign sitting up there now Kevin guy I work with made it's all one piece of rope or two pieces of rope wind together I think he called it biking knots or something I can't remember some kind of knots but uh hand draws it and then details it love the little logo he put there too YouTube that's pretty cool finally got her sitting up here ta-da I got that one and this one they're probably gonna stay this one I was gonna take down but now nah, it's probably just gonna stay there indefinitely I mean just when I think the guy's gonna shut up he starts foaming at the mouth again I mean Nobody's saying nothing to that guy, man. He comes back after all these weeks and posts some crap about me and several other channels, and we've said nothing about him, man. I don't understand what his deal is. And it's really weird, because he acts all churchy. He always likes to finish things up with, God bless. Dude, how do you act like that and then say, God bless? Do you not see the hypocrisy in that? I mean, it's unbelievable. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to leave that up. I mean, and all these guys, I mean, he pointed out, he said something about Derek, Honest Diecast, Big A, me, Old Man Diecast, and Strictly Diecast. What? We have said nothing about him. Nobody's met, I'm probably the only one, I got this. But he, he asked for it. It's well deserved, and that's how I feel. Piss on Forgeman 84. Piss on that dude. <laughs> What do you want me to say, man? Other than that, I ain't been harping. I mean, I don't know, guys. But yeah, he just won't shut up, man. And it is what it is. Comes to our channels. He watches our videos. He reads all the comments you guys post. And then he goes and he talks crap. Who does that? I don't watch channels that I don't like. I don't... What is the deal with this guy? So anyway, I, I ain't messing with him. I ain't going to worry about it. But I tell you what, though. If he does keep on... I'm gonna ask you guys. I'm just gonna ask you guys because you know I'm gonna have to bring, I'm gonna have to question myself. Am I doing something to him? Are we doing something to him? And so I'll just ask you guys if he keeps on, and I'll make a video and I'll ask you to comment in the comments and tell me, tell me the truth. Is he just a crazy man, or are we doing something to him? So that way when he comes and reads it, he can see what everybody really says about him because it's the truth. Somebody needs to tell this guy to shut up. But you know anyway, I I, I just. That's why this time it's gonna stay. So anyway, we got this drawing we'll do. Got a couple of these in. We're gonna open them and show them. They're already up. I have to say that because I know a lot of you guys like to jump and run there because you know how fast they sell out. Shoot, that pink RLC Ford, it sold out in 30 minutes. Them last NSX, they were gone the next day, uh, overnight. Um, these are on the same one. There, there's only 35 stickers instead of 40. There are four prizes. Um, if you just touch it, it'll take you to the pictures. You can watch them all. Or, you know, we'll get to them. I'll show you everything that's in there. But we're going to do the drawing first. And I got a couple things to show you. And we'll go through there. But pull this up. Get 35. Now, 40 stickers were last one. This one's only got 35 in it. And now we'll see right off the bat who's going to get first place. Congratulations to everybody yesterday. And Apologize to, you know, whoever didn't get it. 21! Alright, well, 21 
as you guys can probably guess, <laughs> it's Mr. Cruz. <laughs> guys, he buys a lot of stickers. I I'm surprised he didn't get it yesterday. I mean, seriously, he. I'm surprised he didn't get one of them in SX. He was all over that sheet, um, and he missed them both. Um, he did. He did get a Mustang. He got third or fourth place. I don't remember which, but uh, I'm surprised he didn't get one of the because he was all over that sheet. You know, he is unbelievably supportive, and he's all over this sheet. I mean, I I really not surprised. What 21? Yeah, so I mean, 22 would have been Steve Young. 20 would have been Fern C. That's how I mean he's that close. And then there's just a couple spots, and it's Mr. Pruce again. Either direction. I mean, this guy is all over this sheet. So, I'm really not surprised. So anyway, congratulations, buddy. This is a beautiful casting. And I apologize to everybody else. I mean, I know how much everybody wanted it. It is a beautiful car. So anyway, let's get on to number two. Who's going to get number two? I hope it ain't Mr. Pruce, because he's already got that. He won it last time 33 33 Steve Parker number 33 Steve Parker is second 33 Steve Parker you guys should have your sheets by now it's drawing eight for the N.O. Walk 64, so you can check your numbers and know if it's you or not. Yeah, 33 is Steve Parker. And 21 was Mr. Bruce. First place. Second place. So second place, Mr. Parker. I know you probably wanted that N.O. 64, but this is a pretty sweet little truck, buddy. It's got the Ford emblem on the trailer and all it's got ramps i mean it's a little ford ranger i believe it's an 83 yeah 83 ford ranger i mean it's pretty cool i mean and then we got this guys and this has to go to somebody else third place so one of you other guys are going to get this and you know it, it, it's cool too i like it it is really super cool for what it is so let's see who's going to get that Boom! Like I said, it has to, can't be one of those guys. It has to be somebody else. Thirty-four. Thirty-four is Mr. Pruce. Sorry, buddy, but it can't be you on third place. You could have got it on second, but <clears throat> can't get it on third. I told you, Mr. Pruce is all over this thing. They may come up him again. Three. Steve Young. Oh, Mini Stangs. I keep calling them miniature Mustangs because it used to be, I believe it's now Mini Stangs. What is that? Number three. Mini Stangs. Mr. Young. Well, Steve Young because we got Doug Young. And Steve Young. Let me make sure I put a box around these so I could separate first, second, third. Okay. I don't know, Steve. I don't know if you have that or not, but you know, you won, you won, Mr. Young. So, again, I like to make sure 21 first place Mr. Bruce is what it is guys like I said he buys a lot of stickers guys I mean I mean it's he takes a chance to lose it to look at yesterday he had a lot of stickers on that I'm surprised he didn't get one of them NSX's but he missed both of them second place um dang it Steve Parker 33 Make sure I got that right. 33. Yep. Steve Parker. Second place. And then third place was number three. Steve Young. 
miniature Mustangs. So there we go, guys. That wraps those up. Again, guys, congratulations. And man, like I always say, I apologize to everybody else. I, I don't know what else is to, to say, you know. Um, tomorrow we'll do all the RLC. I wish everybody luck on that one, too. And oh, I also got this in today. Look at that. Look at that baby. Is that not beautiful? Oh, I should have got more of those. These will make some nice little runner-ups, too, or third-place prizes. Look at that baby. Big engine coming out of that caddy. That is sweet, man. 66 Chevy with a 61 caddy. White walls on both. Look at that baby. Beautiful. Yeah, I probably should have got more. That is nice. I love it. And, uh, anyway, on the drawings, these are up. First place, second place. We're going to open them. They are nice. Way better in person. And then third place is this Mustang Mini GT, and it's nice. The pictures of it, it's up on my website. On the other side, it actually says... Um, dragon snake and red or something on the quarter panel on the other side you can't see it you can see it on my website because there's pictures and then a uh, third place or fourth place is just another one of these i had i ordered two of them so i'd have an extra so there'll be another one of these fourth place and uh so anyway like i said those are up but right now Right now, the Funk Soul Brother. Check it out now, the Funk Soul Brother. We're going to check out this Takata. And it is, it is, it is, they are nice, man. They're Rocket Bunny in 064. Nice little case. Not like, you know, it's not like the Liberty or the other one but pretty sweet little case pop it out of there gently look at it it's a seat belt five point harness I kind of wasn't sure how it would look with the green wheels, but it actually looks pretty cool. Again, nicely detailed. Those lens, lensed taillights, exhaust. So spins in the front on the NSX. Look at that. It just looks super cool. Wiper blades. Interior has the green seat belts, five point harnesses in the seat. Right side drive. I mean, it is nice. So there we go. Oh, it looks super cool. Those NXS, man, they just. They really do look nice. Where's my other one? Oh, there it is. There's a card in the bottom. Oh. A little card under there. It says Rocket Money. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Whoops. Check it out now. Funk Soul Brother. Right about now. The Funk Soul Brother. I don't know what that's in there for. Anyway, we'll put it back. Yeah, that baby is sweet. I kind of like the Castrol. We'll bust that one open, too. She's real nice, too. This one's second place.
The other one was shell. This one's castrol. That looks good too. NSX, Rocket Bunny, Rocket Bunny, V2 Arrow, Castrol Concept, Livery. Again, lensed. Super nice. Man, they sit so low. That's sec second place. Man, those are nice. Sweet. So, there's those. And, uh, not opening the others, but like I said, the other one is the Mustang. It's pretty nice, too. You can, you can see better shots on the website. But it's pretty sweet. And, uh, and then, of course, like I said, another one of these. Um, maybe by the time that drawing comes in, I might get some more of these. And uh, maybe, maybe, and then uh, maybe I'll let you pick which one you want. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we'll see. And, you know, maybe nobody's interested in these NSX. I don't know. But anyway, they're up now. And uh, so you guys can go there and, you know, get in on it if you want. Um, again, guys, sorry, you know, the ones that didn't win and you, you get close and I know it's a bummer. Like, you know, I mean, Larry Keebler just missed out on second place again, but then Mr. Proust, he was right under that one. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's really Steve Young just, well, Mr. Proust was above that Richard Harrison well, a lot of you guys get really close. I mean, I know it doesn't matter when you're close and you're not there, but I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. It's a 50-50. I always feel good for the guys that win, and then I feel bad for the guys that didn't. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for the support. Thanks for playing. I'll try to get more cool stuff in. And uh, But I'm about wrapping things up. Winter's coming around, so I'm kind of changing my area because I got to get it arranged so I can get back in my dugout where I work and uh seeing a lot of these customs now for some reason I don't know it must be that time of year I'm getting a lot of videos pop up of customs and the more I get to seeing them again and then the more I see mine sitting here I gotta finish I'm so close to finishing those I just need to get that hard part detailed it is so hard to detail those guys. I got to get those done though, and I'll be rocking on. And then I can go on to the next ones. Um, <clears throat> I got to get those Halloween trucks done. I was out of pumpkins. I finally got uh, uh, Hayden over at um, HHW Customs to print me some more. So I got some in last week. I think I ordered 10 of them. Black Wolf Customs was asking about them, and yeah, I got him to print some. So I got me 10 of them. So now I can get those trucks done. Um, but I got to get past to past what I'm on now before I start those. And Black Wolf Customs, I don't know, are you wanting to try to turn that one into one of these pumpkin trucks or something? I don't know. I haven't really figured that out yet but we'll get to that um but anyway that's where we're at and um i haven't sent anybody stuff off because some of you guys are still in the same drawings and then we got one more drawing so i didn't i'm gonna wait because some of you guys might win again and um so i'll just ship it all together so this one is done let me stick it off to the side and uh so once we do the other one tomorrow, we'll see. I'll be done and I can get them shipped out. And we'll go from there. But now we'll go ahead and uh, auto-reply the package that's going to Diecast Clown. 
Let's see what bad news they got for me now. Another update. Your package will, will arrive later than expected, but it's still on its way. It is currently in transit to the next facility. You don't say. Really? What facility? Maybe Oregon this time? Huh? I mean, I... I don't know what I did wrong there. I don't know. I don't know how this is happening, man. But, of course, it had to be that package. That package has... Oh, that package has so much stuff in it, guys. It's... Uh, anyway, it is what it is. Well, I'm going to read the comments out of this last video yesterday. What the heck? Got a little bit of time here. Let's do it. Sure, it shouldn't be much. All right. Right off the bat. Froggy Geezer. I believe that's Judson Osgood. That Trump car is great. Should put some panties in a twist. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no lie. Congrats to the winners. Good luck to everyone who's in on the next giveaway. Right on. Give that a heart and a thumbs up. Strictly Diecast. Oh, Jake. We was just mentioning him a little while ago because of this guy. Congratulations to all the winners. Maybe I'll treat myself to one of those NXSs instead of for Christmas now. <clears throat> those Trump cards... Cars and cards are super awesome. Have a great weekend, brother. Same to you, buddy. Yeah, they are. That, I haven't heard from him, but I was in. I'm curious how much they are. I wouldn't mind getting me uh, that Camaro and that Gasser. I like the card work. I mean, you guys know I could build the car, um, but why? I, I could kill two birds with one stone. I can get something cool and help out another customizer. Mr. Eddie Tapia. Congrats to all the winners. Thanks. James, for giving us a chance to win some unique cars. Was Mr. Tapia on this drawing? And if so, how far did he miss? Ooh, he was. Oh, look what I did. Look what I did. I gotta write it on my paper, guys. You know I gotta write it on my paper. Third. I forgot to put, uh, I forgot to put Mr. Young on there. Yeah, Mr. Tapio's on there. Um, yeah, you kind of missed it by ways, buddy. But I mean, sorry. But I thought I, I thought I remembered your name being on there. Um, good luck. I mean, I don't know what to say, guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate your support. Heart and thumbs. Simple man, Mustang diecast. Congratulations to the winners. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, buddy. Same to you. Oh, Richard Harrison. He won yesterday. I can't believe that. I've honestly never won anything in my entire life. My grandson and I love watching your videos, brother. Thank you. Congratulations to the other winners. Well, thanks, buddy. And, uh, I thought I said, yeah, your name was on this one. Oh, sorry you missed out on that one, too. Are you on tomorrow's? Yeah, you're on tomorrow's too, so I'm not going to ship yours out either. We're going to wait and see just in case. You might get something again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll try to send you some uh, uh, some extra cards to give to your grandson. Maybe a couple of them boulevards for yourself from our buddy in the community, Mr. Pruce. I'm sure he'd love for you and your grandson to get some extra cards. I'll try to remember to do that. I don't know what I got left, but um, I'll try to pick something cool. Send it to you. Mr. Brian Johnston. Oh, I got to get his truck done. He's one of the guys waiting on a truck. Congrats to all the winners. Thanks, James. Have a great weekend. You too, brother. Then we got old Eddie G. The harmonica playing dude in the bunker. The diecast bunker. Bunker diecast channel. That's what it's called. Congratulations to all the winners. Sweet wins. Everyone have a great weekend. Same to you, brother. And we got old Simple Customs by Eddie Papandria. The Godfather. Congratulations to all the winner, all the winners. Thanks for the ride. Make America great again. Yep, I know that's right. And Mr. Garcia. That's what we're going with. Mr. Garcia. Congrats to the winner. Y'all have a blessed weekend. 
Right on, you too, brother. NASCAR guy. Oh, man, I got to get his car, too. And Wayne Parker. Those two guys, a lot of you guys have been waiting, but those two guys have been waiting forever. I got to get my butt in gear, man. I hope to have my wheel next week and get that off my mind and closed up and done. Oh, man, we'll see what happens. Congrats, guys. Enjoy the weekend. Same to you, brother. Mr. Ellingson. Yeah, I think he won one of the NSX. Yahoo! Thanks so much, James. Congrats to the other fellers. Don't know much about that casting, but very excited to check it out. Yeah, he won one. He might have wanted the Mustang. He, sometimes the guys want the runner-up. But yeah, you got the NSX, brother. And then... Many stains. Congrats, Tom. He congratulated. He went to his comments and congratulated him. Mr. Young. Mr. Well, it's irredeemable. But he said I could call him by his real name. And <laughs> I forgot how it goes. Joe Luz. I think he said it's Luz. Or Luz. Loves. Joe loves. I think it's Joe loves. Yeah, you said I can use his real name. I, I anyway, it's Joe loves. I hope I didn't just screw that up. I probably should check that email and make sure. Um but anyway, congratulations to the winners. And Mr. Pruce. Thank you for the win. Congrats to the other winners. Good luck, everyone, in the drawing tomorrow. Have a good night, buddy. You scored, buddy. You scored in the drawing tomorrow. That is a beautiful casting, Mr. Bruce. You are going to love this thing. It is, oh, it is unbelievable. I can't believe how nice it is. Jersey Devil. Congratulations to all the winners. Damn, I wanted that NSX. Maybe next time. Still good fun. Yeah, buddy, I know, man. It, uh, I got a couple more. They're different, but, I mean, like I said, I... You're happy for the ones that win, and you're bummed out for the ones that don't. Um, Batman Diecast, Wayne Parker. What's up, buddy? Congrats to the winners. Wayne Parker's in on something. I see, I got stickers for him. Tomorrow. He's in on the RLC tomorrow. I knew I'd seen his name and some stickers. What's up, buddy? Ain't seen you around in a while. I probably need to get your darn car done, huh? Old Dane Self. Congrats to the winners. Asco, the bearded welder. Congrats for the winners. Right on, Asco. Hey, you need to go to my email, hewittsdiecast at gmail.com. I think it's in my about me. And send me your address. I know it's over there in the land down under or something like that. It's in a long, far off place, but I got something I think I might want to send you. And uh, even though it's way over there, everybody should know by now, I'll still send it. So you should give me your address, Asco. Uh, Asco? Asco? Hey, bearded welder. Just give me your address. But put it exactly how I need to put it on the package. Because I don't want to mess it up. And uh, if you don't mind, I'll send you some things. I want to get you a custom, some kind of, oh, Dodge Plymouth Mercury type thing. But I haven't got to any of that yet. But eventually I will. But um, anyway, yeah, do that if you don't mind. Mike Dyson, congratulations to those who won. And yeah, the guy that with the, I meant to say that earlier, with the Trump cars. I haven't heard from him, but hopefully he sees the video sooner or later and emails me a price on those because yeah i wouldn't mind getting that camaro and that gasser pretty cool oh, just reminded me about when i i don't know just reminded me so burn c congrats to the winners right on brother neil cummings great vid buddy makes great custom hope you can get your hands on them love the rant at the end Oh, he's talking, I think he's talking about those those cars, those Trump cars. Yeah, right on. Pontiac Crest, congratulations to all the winners. Love the Trump car. I, 
Mike's Trump car or, or Steve's Trump car and the other one. I love that one. I'm going to put some wheels on it and put it in a case. And then we got old Hector. Congrats to the winners. Boom, amigo, blessing. What? No King of Customs, brother? You always put hashtag King of Customs. What's going on? It's an imposter. It's an imposter here. Mr. Rudolph Herrera. Oh, Rudy. Got to get his done, too. He's one of them trucks waiting over there. Another great drawing. Looking forward to the other drawings. Hope I win Sunday. Right on, brother. I hope you do, too. I, I hope everybody does. <laughs> That's all I can say. I, That's why I said it's kind of a bad deal. I think it... I think it'd be easier on my mind if I just didn't care. But for some reason, I want all you guys to win. And that's just not possible. Anyway, Pontiac Crest again. Good luck to all. Right on. Then we got old McNasty. McNasty from Scotland. I got my car caught and click. Can't get out. I don't know. <laughs> I got... <laughs> I don't even want to try to do a Scottish accent. Anyway. McNasty's place. Boom. Well done, everybody. Right on, brother. Right on. I sent him some of my original shirts a while back. I think he bought them when it first came out. Seeing he cut sleeves off. That's how you wear a Hewitt shirt. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> Worked today. Now oh, it's sore. Just threw my arm out, I think. I just threw out a shoulder blade or something. Diecast Clown, congratulations to the winners. Love the Trump cars and cards. Good luck to everyone tomorrow. Nobody likes the truth. Sad, isn't it? Darren sure is. Like they say, it's what they say, you know. They don't, love, especially liberals. Well, I shouldn't say that. Hey, you, know, you can't put everybody in the same basket. Whatever. Cecil's Diecast. Happy for the ones that won. Right on, brother. Oh, dude, I just went all the way back to the top. i got to get back down there. Trevor Samura Collections. Despite your rants, your subscriber count went up. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, that thing goes up and down, buddy. I wouldn't really worry about it. I mean... I'll lose five or six or ten by next week. It don't matter. It goes up and down. Uh, yeah, whatever. But right on. Mondo Speedy. Mondo. I got close last draw, too. Bummer. Yeah, that sucked, buddy. I know you was really close. Um, good luck next time, man. If you, know, if you ever play again. I don't know, are you on tomorrow? Maybe you have some luck tomorrow. I don't see you. No. No Mondo for tomorrow. Sorry, buddy. Then we got Rat Black Diecast again. Good old Rat Black. I plan on washing my GMC tomorrow, rain or shine. Right on. Got to keep that baby clean. Got to look good in the rain, too, man. Just got to do it. Uh, Kenny Botches. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but what do you think he said? What do you think he said? Who is going to get the Rocket Bunny <laughs> sex castings? <laughs> he always puts the same thing as my title. Anyway, right on, brother. Hey, it's a, it's a comment, you know. Cool. Appreciate you. Then we got old school cool diecast. Hey, everyone. Walmart has model cars on sale for $4 a piece. Or at least mine did this evening. Right on. I guess maybe he's talking about model, you know, like Rebel monogram, the kind you put together, the plastic ones. That's pretty cheap. Four bucks a piece for a car these days is pretty cheap. Probably a snap together or something. I don't know. Might be a good one. Seems like around this time of year last year, I seen some Walmarts get a bunch of them in. A lot of them were Coca-Cola model cars or something. And then we got Robert Gardner. Boom. Next to last. 
And right below that was Fern C with Boom Uno. Of course, old Fern, he first place a lot of times. Damn, all right, 35 minutes again. So anyway, that wraps up those comments, guys. Um, appreciate that. Here we go again. Oh, I don't even want to start on that. Beware. U.S. issues new warnings to Americans because of Hamas being in the USA. You don't say. What? I wonder how they got here. Could it be that border that we won't protect down there? We'll spend millions to protect everybody else's border. Pick a country. What? People are crossing your border? We'll send the Marines there tomorrow. Hey, uh, Joe, we got millions of criminals coming across the border down there by Texas. Ah, nonsense. Nonsense. Now they want to warn you. There's a lot of them here. Thousands and thousands and thousands. Hmm. Wonder what they want to do here. Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, here's the thing I got to tell you guys real quick. It's some big cities that need to watch out. Because us little places in the Midwest, we don't play that crap. And we're ready for that kind of crap. That's why Antifa didn't come here. None of that crap comes around here. They don't, they don't, who was that? Jason Aldean, try that shit in a small town? Yeah, try it. It don't work. Uh-uh, ain't happening. There's people around here ready for that kind of crap. So, you're not unarming us and leaving us stuck like those people in Israel. That was just terrible what happened to those. All of those people were just helpless. And that's how they want to leave us in the U.S. Helpless. So when these guys arm up and come to your neighborhoods, they can do the same thing. Uh-uh. Anyway. I shouldn't even have seen that, but I just seen that. U.S. is issuing a warning. You, you don't say. You don't. You, need, you mean I need to watch out for terrorism? Oh my God. Anyway, there we go, guys. Let that go, and uh, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. And uh, there's the drawing results. We'll do the RLC tomorrow. Things dragged on. The NSX is up there. If anybody's interested in those, it's up to you guys. Um, and we'll go on. And oh yeah, real quick about the soccer. I know I'm dragging on. Um, I had work and then I had to go play soccer. Well, my granddaughters, they're on a soccer team. And this soccer league here, it could be any team could have anywhere from 7th grade to 12th grade. Well, both my granddaughters, one's 7th, one's 8th, they're on the same team. And that's pretty much the only grades on their team. And uh, they played another team today that was all ninth graders and up. But they did pretty good, my, especially both my granddaughters. And um, uh, But they lost. It was 2-0. But they still did pretty good. And my, both my granddaughters were really good at controlling the ball, you know, getting the ball and doing everything. But anyway, there was a girl on the other team. She was just elbow checking people. She was slamming people. I mean, tripping them, knocking them down. And, you know, our coach is complaining about it. And the referee won't do anything about it. You know, just ignores it. So she does that. She kind of nudges on my one granddaughter, the one I told you. She's a tough girl. She's real pretty and real small and all. But she's pretty tough. And uh, she don't do nothing really. And coach tells my other granddaughter hey go tell her don't let her do that to her and so she does and she's like okay and then so she gets back over there and that girl is, is slamming other people down and the, the, ref, the coach says something again and the ref still don't do nothing about it so when he hollered out to my granddaughter Anna hey don't let her bulldog you that's what I said the same thing I just told my granddaughter the same thing I said uh, of course my son he's there and he's he's telling her because it's his daughter push her the same way Anna. and i was like you can't tell her that you don't tell her that just tell her don't let her bulldog you it's okay Anna. get the ball control the ball and so that's what we all told her and man that girl she just dogged that other chick i mean she was just bulldogging her right back just just right in there and nobody's we don't like bad sportsmanship. 
We want the kids, and the kids are having fun. It's it's the coaches that are doing a bunch of complaining. But so they weren't getting mad at each other or anything. They're just playing a little rough. But my granddaughter Anna, Anna Leah, she's just the one that you, you want to play that way. Okay, I mean she does uh, CrossFit or whatever. She's only in eighth grade, and I mean she she uh, squats like one sixty five. I mean she's itty bitty girl. Um, she's right out there on the field and the other girl that kept trying to bulldog her she's kind of big dude booking you know but whatever I'm not trying to be mean to the girl but yeah my, I mean she's she's the one with the real long ponytail and uh but yeah she just just dogging her out man just boom boom take the ball from her cruncher my other granddaughter is on the other end of the field she's over there and uh, she covers that end and uh, you know she's not a big girl either but uh, they were both doing pretty good against them covering goals and all and they got an excellent goalie and it was still they got they snuck two in there but um yeah I thought it was hilarious because yeah on Aaliyah She's the one I was telling you about. She, she was a little kid and she wreck her bike. She fall down. She, she don't ever cry. Just tough as can be. And now, like I said, she's in this. I think it's called CrossFit or something in there. She does weights and gym and everything else. And she's number three in, in school and uh, third place on all this. And like I said, I, she don't. She, I can't believe she's squatting 165 already. But um, but anyway, it was pretty fun. It was pretty cool to see her do that because she did. She stepped up and said, all right, I've got this. Just wham, check her the same way right back. But it was cool because we, they didn't get mad at each other. They just played rough, but no refs said anything. And um, because like I told her, you know, don't let her bulldog you like that. You take care of it. But we don't want no bad sportsmanship. I don't. I'm not into that. We're not. We, these kids are supposed to have fun playing this game, not, you know, blowing it into something that's not. And that's what's bad about a lot of parents and sometimes coaches is they want to act like it's a big deal, like you know you gotta win or something, and you don't. But I just, I just wanted her to know, hey, it's okay. You don't because this girl is aggressive. I mean, she. She body check you, she elbowed, she was tripping people, all kinds of dirty stuff. And so I was like, okay, well, we'll, we'll put on on that. <laughs> and uh, that's what we did. And uh, it was pretty cool because she, she don't play that. She'll give it right back to you. She's a tough girl. And you would never think so because, like I said, she's, she's real pretty and quiet, shy, nice. But it was pretty cool. Anyway, but again, I don't, we don't, I don't want it being no kind of bad thing. So if anybody would have got mad out there, I'd have told her immediately, hey, just, just go, don't, don't, because then you don't want to do that. Let them have fun playing the game. Not, not a bunch of aggressive crap where everybody's mad at each other. That's, that's not a game. So anyway, it turned out pretty cool. Both, neither one of them, her, Anna, or the other girl, got mad at each other you know at the end of the game they always have to go by and shake everybody's hand everybody's cool and um a lot of times they'll help each other up when they knock each other down so it's all cool but it was i was, I was just surprised because nobody else really wanted to deal with that girl and this little short little girl she went right in there all right all right i got it wham <laughs> it was pretty cool anyway y'all take it easy peace tomorrow rlc Peace. Outro.